Here we are. Good morning from Italy. I am uh, Corini Francesco, CEO of Flestart, and I am uh, delighted uh, to introduce David Brevner, our owner and our record. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure <laughs> to have your company for what is going to be quite a technical session uh, looking at our active, new Active Directory integration capability. So delighted to have you here. Um, and as Francesca said, we know it's just a week before Christmas. And we've um, run this, uh, set this up at quite short notice. So it's nice to see many people attending. So, uh, Francesca, are we going to bring the slides up and we'll... we'll uh, yeah, we'll get just... Started. Uh... Yeah, just a very quick introduction. Today we will uh, discover how to deploy and how to uh, to install the ProPlus. The uh, web dashboard has been uh, totally updated last night, so we are totally uh, totally totally aligned. And uh, by this evening, it will be possible to uh, issue uh, the correct uh, ProPlus licenses. Uh, it's a uh, quite a short session. It will uh, take about 40, 45 minutes, but uh, I think that it should be uh, quite enough in order to make you uh, ready uh, to start. Here we are. Let's switch to the presentation. David, you That's have control. Great. That's great. Okay. So thank you, Francesco. So um, we formally launched our Pro Plus offering, which is the, the license that grants the use of Active Directory and, in fact, the integration of non-Active Directory workgroups on December the 2nd. And so this is the technical session, uh, you know, di diving into that. So let's just go straight into the first point. Uh, sorry, guys, just, just a moment. Can you can you hear me? Uh, please write in the chat uh, if you can hear both me and uh, David, uh, just to understand, because I had uh, uh, negative uh, feedback. Uh, if you can uh, hear me. Please. Uh, okay, both clear. Thanks. Sorry, David. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, so uh, we're filtering. Um, I see we've got 1.2 billion clicks a day. I think we're up to 1.5 now, actually. Um, you know, and we've ju we've just passed the 100 country barrier. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, in fact. Uh, so I think we're at 101 countries now. Um, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, that. That. Um, um, our customers coming on board in the last days, new countries. And we are in the business of developing a, a low cost, a very affordable, um, um, very high functional cloud content filter and malware filter, making it easy to deploy, but hard to subvert. Um, so our, 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 our mission is to bring this to all sides of business. Um, the, the biggest opportunity in the market is is down in the small and medium size, and that's exactly where you know we are focused. And we're delighted also to be getting you know some great independent reviews around this. Uh, we've got expert insights here on the screen. Um, very pleased uh, at the ratings there, and thank you to our customer base for supporting on that. So anyway, we're, we you know we're we're um, um, uh, we're a well established player in this field. And this morning we're talking about, as I say, the Pro Plus. This is the brand name we're giving to the capability that adds the possibility to, to, to integrate Active Directory and bring flash start permissions to um, the Active Directory uh, functionality when that's deployed. As, as we're also going to see, uh, Active Directory is the most obvious market, but we're also going to touch on the fact that any form of work group can also be addressed with the, the the pro plus capability and um uh, this is all about deploying a micro application um uh, as part of the project and that filtering is enabled um whether the end user is having a on-site active directory or work set of work groups or it's a cloud-based um deployment somehow that the end user has okay so we're very proud of this it, it, it's a very nice feature there aren't too many other vendors who have developed such a feature and um uh we've already got nice references and some great customer endorsements from this okay so let's keep moving on because this is really a technical session um so just a reminder that that um, um we are fundamentally implementing our our uh, cloud with two important um, uh, 
control points. The first of those control points is, is in the existing Wi-Fi router. Um, so we we we're normally working with incumbent routers in the in the customer many of you are working for companies that are shipping routers and installing new sites which is great as well and it's simply a, a question of doing a configuration in the router and the second control point becomes the the active directory integration feature which we're going to look at on this webinar so then all devices using that router whether they be PCs, whether they be tablets, whether they be phones, whether it, whether it is the application on the phone, have the protection of the content filter and the malware filter and the features that come within that, um, which um, uh, I, I think pretty much all of you on this call are, are familiar with. I, I recognize, uh, I think, pretty much all the names on here. So um, and that does include also, just a quick reminder, the ability to import your local regulatory requirements. Um, so governments of many countries uh, um, require particular blacklisting of sites and we can import those based on a request basis for your country okay so um as i mentioned already this also fits the non ad environments um providing per ip address filtering on the lan subnet filtering and the ability to do mixed mode with active directory and ip filtering together okay and and as you see here the the isp granular on premise implementation uh, is, is upon us in January, okay? And we do that using cash. So our own cash. So so I, um, uh, Francesco, is this the moment where I hand over to you? Uh, yeah. Just another slide. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Very important indeed. To, to discuss about uh, comparison it, matrix. Indeed, yeah, yeah. So, so um, th this, is, this, is, this is important. So we have the features on the left-hand side here. Um, content filtering malware, and then we have the classic pro pro offering, which is the which is the filter that uh, you all you all know us by, and then pro plus, which introduces Active Directory connectors. They're priced differently. We're not going to focus on pricing and stuff on in this webinar, but pro pro is our is our highly functional uh, filter with full reporting, uh, all the features. There's no options to pay for except to move to Pro Plus. And here you can see the different levels of features. So, so everything includes content filtering, malware protection, geo-blocking support, the ability to block by countries, the ability to integrate search engine protection, safe search from Google and Bing, the full report analysis suite, um, the ability to set up your profiles, for filtering uh, different forms of users and use those cross accounts. Um, the ability to deploy in a multi-tenant dashboard so corporate end users can access and make changes to their own filtering requirements and, and do reporting without accessing your private information. And then additionally for Pro Plus, we have the MS integration, on-premise work groups, and so forth. Um, uh, and actually, we've got GDPR compliance down here. Pro Pro is GDPR compliant as well. This is referring to the ability to deploy into a work group with GDPR compliance. Yeah, I think we might need to do a little bit bit of improvement there on our explanation, actually, Francesco. Um, and, uh, and and lastly, a new feature coming in the new year, which is the possibility to detect and report on specifically infected PCs in the work group. Um, I think that's in real time, yeah, Francesco? Yes, yeah, in real time. Uh, real time, uh, yeah. With a delay of about uh, three minutes because uh, uh, when you are inside a big network, it's not. Uh, it's uh, very easy to understand that there is uh, something wrong, but it's not so easy to understand where is uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the issue. Mm -hmm. By implementing the infected uh, PCs was, uh, workstation uh, detaching tool, uh, you'll be able to understand the exact uh, position of the uh, of the uh, the infection. Absolutely, very As good. Possible. Okay, so uh, we can start uh, the very uh, technical session. I'll be very quick and as soon as I. Uh, We'll finish just uh, this uh, uh, technical part. I uh, will be uh, delighted to uh, to uh, to answer uh, to your question. So, 
uh, many of you are already uh, reseller and are quite used to um, to configure uh, the uh, normal the uh, standard at the directory today today we are adding something more to our installation so uh, we are adding uh, something more to improve and uh, to uh, to grant uh, the granular filtering first of all we need to create understand a uh, granular protection and filtering strategy first of all we need to understand uh, the uh, uh, to plan the strategy for the filtering profiles we need to uh, have a look at our active directory uh, groups and users for example if we are in a company we need to uh, pay attention to the different level of group for example employees technicals uh, sales guy and uh, uh, top management okay top management top management uh, uh, can't be blocked for example for facebook and uh, for uh, for google so okay standard employees sometime uh, needs uh, need to be blocked uh, to avoid uh, distraction and to uh, to avoid the uh, download of bad uh, content so then uh, we suggest to create at least two filtering profiles okay for example uh, a base protection and the medium uh, protection when you uh, set up from scratch uh, the pro plus active directory environment the system automatically uh, creates uh, for you three different profiles okay basic uh, medium and strong filter then uh, we will uh, proceed uh, together to decide uh, which uh, um, group and user uh, must be assigned to each filtering profile then uh, we should have uh, the wi-fi guest filtering protection plan consider every company uh, nowadays and uh, especially uh, schools and uh, governments uh, usually um, usually have uh, a, a Wi-Fi guest LAN. The Wi-Fi guest LAN can't be authenticated uh, towards Active Directory because we are uh, talking about guest user. So uh, in this way, uh, we will be uh, helped by the uh, granular per IP address and uh, per subnet filtering uh, facilities. Let's uh, discuss now in details. Let's start uh, to set up uh, pro plus are you ready guys to set up with me the uh, pro plus so first of all <clears throat> let's uh, register a free uh, trial by today by today uh, you can uh, choose if uh, uh, proceeding to set up the normal pro version the uh, the legacy let's call it legacy pro version or uh, the the new pro plus version then we need to deploy the Microsoft Windows uh, connector, uh, we need to uh, download and to set up a software. And uh, then we need to set up uh, an on-premise DNS cache in order to forward and uh, to split uh, the local uh, queries to the correct profile. Uh, we have ready-made virtual appliances for VMware, for Proxmox, and for Microsoft Hyperview. Third, third and last point is the DNS um, network configuration setting. Let's start with the Microsoft Windows connector setup. Uh, to speed up uh, the presentation, I have already uh, set up uh, two hours ago the uh, connector. It's very easy, okay? Download, next, 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 finish. To avoid uh, some Windows problem or some Windows uh, uh, slowness, I decided to create uh, uh, the environment for you. Let me share the screen right now. So please uh, confirm me, kindly confirm me uh, if you can see uh, uh, my uh, Windows uh, remote desktop connection. Okay, just a thought. If you can uh, please write, uh, if you can see the, the Microsoft Windows uh, uh, remote desktop. Okay, yep, thanks. It's okay. So just after finishing uh, the, uh, the installation, we have uh, three languages, okay? Italian, English, and Spanish. Uh, you will be a uh, prompt uh, to type the flash start setting okay so username and password uh, got uh, just after the flash start registration and then uh, you will be prompt to choose uh, um, how frequently 
uh, you want to uh, synchronize a group and user, okay? So this uh, uh, connector pushed out to the cloud just group and users, okay? It's impossible to synchronize password. We do not synchronize password but just uh, the users, uh, the users, uh, the users and group uh, uh, mapping. I suggest to synchronize every four hour or every uh, one hour. Okay, I need to to apply then the changes. And for example, if I have just added uh, a Windows user, or if I have uh, changed some group ownership, and I want to synchronize now immediately without waiting uh, the uh, synchronization time interval, let's click on sync, confirm. Okay, the system asked me to wait a few seconds. But okay, and then uh, he says uh, number of users in, the, uh, in this. Uh, in this Active Directory 8, uh, number of groups uh, 52, it's a test environment, and uh, number of DNS local zone. Then I will tell you why we need uh, to synchronize. That's okay. Just finished. Uh, how is, do you think uh, uh, it easy to, to, be de to be deployed? Uh, how do you feel? It? Just uh, uh, some interaction uh, in order uh, to make me learn if the process is, is easy or uh, if there are uh, some issues about understanding uh, uh, this model. Let me know. Let me know some, some answers. Thanks. Uh, it seems very, very easy, I think, but it's okay. Good question, Andrew. Uh, it must be uh, set up in a Windows domain controller. So if you have a quite complex network uh, with uh, two or more than uh, two domain controller, uh, you just need to set up into uh, one domain controller of the uh, Microsoft Active Directory forest. I think forest, it's a good term to indicate uh, the, the whole infrastructure. Just one. Uh, from Windows 2012 uh, and above, no problem. 2012, uh, it's okay, but it should also work on uh, the legacy Windows uh, 2008. 2008. It should work, but I, I need to, to check. But it's uh, compatible with uh, at least three or four different versions of uh, uh, Windows uh, domain controller. Okay, point number one has just been uh, uh, sorted out. Then in uh, point uh, uh, number two, I can follow a guide. Uh, we made a quite... Uh, uh, nice guide. Uh, now I'm entering the, my flash start uh, session. It has already been uh, prepared with the uh, Active Directory preset up. Okay, the guide is quite quite simple. We have the magic button, Active Directory, right here. We have just set up uh, the Windows connector status, and then we need to set up the local DNS proxy proxy on premise okay it's very easy because uh, we have uh, uh, different uh, different level different level of uh, uh, virtual machine let me let me access it's a very basic linux machine can you see my screen now please tell me if you can see my uh, yeah we can see party. Party. okay so fantastic okay so this is uh, the the very very uh, basic installation, we need to install a local DNS proxy in order to uh, catch uh, queries coming from, from client. The installation uh, is very easy. Point number one, system name, okay? Uh, we need to uh, set up a name, for example, cloudbox.company.local, okay? It's a, a common Windows uh, uh, name. Point uh, number two, network session. I have simply uh, configured the uh, NIP address, subnet, network, and gateway, okay? Sometime we need uh, to adjust the default M2 discovery to a, a lower value, but uh, if you need uh, to do it, uh, uh, there is an option. Do you want to change? No, it's, it's very easy. Point uh, uh, number uh, three, DNS configuration. 
here I will uh, put the uh, domain controller, the internal domain controller DNS in order to make forwarding for Active Directory Zone. Let's change, uh, no, it's just setup. Device activation, okay, now let's change. It's very simple. Here I need to uh, type the registration, the registration at flash start, it's a test account and then password cloud okay the password okay enter okay the system uh, immediately check authentication and then uh, okay the status uh, indicates good so both windows connector and uh, the virtual appliance have been uh, uh, configured do you want to change no. Then I can uh, uh, test if you want uh, using option number six. I can uh, test again the uh, the activation status is good, so it's okay. Then, uh, moreover, I have some um, test tool, ping, change password, change language, uh, and restart system. The local DNS on uh, premise cache has just been sorted out, and then I am uh, ready to start granular uh, filtering. Just to understand, uh, let me keep open um, okay, the chat uh, with you guys. Okay, just uh, uh, to understand, uh, is it easy? How do you feel it? Okay. Let me know if uh, everything is okay until uh, this moment so uh, we can start showing uh, the um, uh, active directory granular filtering uh, uh, configuration okay just uh, okay is everything clear okay yes thank you guys so I think everyone uh, uh, is aware about uh, flash start capabilities okay reporting uh, blacklist uh, selection okay uh, you can set up a different uh, set of uh, blacklist categories uh, whitelist uh, uh, personal blacklist and uh, search engine protection then uh, you can use the geo blocking uh, feature in order to block uh, some bad some bad countries uh, that are uh, used to be very infected uh, we have uh, uh, several video talking about the very basic configuration, okay? Uh, it's not our staff today to go deeply into the basic configuration, the reporting section, section with many reports. Let's be focused on the new uh, function, okay? Active Directory. So now three stuff to be done. First of all, Windows Connector status check, synchronize. DNS proxy on-premise, synchronized 20 minutes ago. So uh, my two basic components are, uh, uh, they are okay. Then the system tell me that uh, uh, we have already four Windows Active Session. What are Windows Active Session? Simply people logged to the Windows Domain Controller. So as soon as uh, someone log, uh, log into the Windows Domain Controller, the system automatically push out to flash the cloud, the, uh, the session. I can browse, taking on uh, the LAN, and then I can see for users, okay, Massimo, Test, uh, Francesco, and Maris, the uh, local IP address where they uh, uh, got inside the system, the, uh, the assign filtering profiles, okay? Employees, default profile employees, the group, the Windows group, so developer, users, developer, and log on since one hour ago. The system has uh, uh, some mechanism of uh, timeout, so the session uh, is uh, killed as soon as uh, some time do not make uh, DNS traffic for uh, 15, 20 minutes, but uh, you can tune this value. Let's go, uh, let's go inside the profile configuration. Now we need to select uh, the profile, for example, uh, standard employees. So we select a profile and then we need to match 
the correct users and group to the profile. Point number one, let's connect to the employees filtering profile, both users and group. Let me click on the, 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 the button, okay? This is my Windows Active Directory. It's very simple because everything has just been synchronized by the Windows Connector plugin. Here I can see a group and uh, just underneath I can see the, the user. So I can also search between users with a, a nice uh, search engine. Let me add here the, for example, developers group, okay? Let me click and then I have assigned I have assigned to the uh, to uh, the employee profile. There is a typo about translation. Sorry, the developers group, the developers Windows Active Directory group. Then let me assign a single person. For example, me, Francesco Collini. Just a click, click on Add, and then click on OK. So right here, uh, the developers group. Uh, made by one, two, three, four, five people, plus a single user, Francesco Collini, have been added to the employees filtering profile, okay? Let me also add uh, a, a work up uh, machine, for example, a machine uh, that is not inside the Windows domain. Sometime in companies and in school, you can have uh, some standalone uh, machines, so machines that, uh, that are not joined to the Windows domain. I can simply click on add uh, the single IP address, for example, 10, uh, uh, sorry, 10.0.0.50. Or if you prefer, I can also, I can add the whole subnet, okay? Starting IP, um, and then in GP. Sorry for the typos, but the uh, translation has still got some, some issues that will be sorted out uh, today. For example, this is very, very uh, useful to filter granularly the Wi Fi guest machine, uh, guest network. Why the Wi Fi? Because uh, you are aware that uh, guest user cannot be, uh, can't be authenticated to Active Directory. So we need to uh, define manually the IP addresses or better uh, the ranges to, uh, to apply a specific policy filter for Wi-Fi close. Then let's, let's proceed. Let's change group. Let me select top management. So, uh, well, I just need to apply a very, very, very basic filtering policies for top management people. I can simply select a group and then I will start proceeding, uh, joining people to the group. For example, the CEO group, okay, I can simply match the CEO group uh, against the top management profile. Click on add, close, okay, finished. S uh, third staff, let me set up the uh, Wi Fi guest network filtering profile. Let me define uh, the uh, whole range, uh, for example, from 10.10.10.10.1 uh, to 10.10.10.200. Okay? I've just added uh, the group into the, it's a very long group. I think that there are some, some duplicate, but I can add the whole range right here. Uh, okay. How can I set up, how can I configure different blacklists to the different profile? It's very simple. If I click on profile, for example, I click on the basic employees profile. Okay, I can switch to list and then I can decide what to block. For example, I want to block uh, the video. I want to block a dangerous site. I also I want to block free time, for example, block, uh, fashion, okay, free time, music, uh, radio for employees. Then uh, I block uh, malware, it's obvious, threats, and uh, let me also block uh, site for audit, chat, 
dating it's very important because uh, lots of people right now are used to to connect to to dating and pornography sexuality and uh, games okay this is uh, the filtering profile selection for employees profile how do i uh, uh, set up the blacklist selection for the top management group it's very simple click on change let me select the top management profile and then let me set up a very 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 light filtering profile so video and audio are granted for top management for the ceo for the uh, top directors i can block dangerous site and then i can block malware for example some ceos some ceos would like to access adult website so let me grant adult website to CEO and to top manager, to managers, but let me block pornography. And in this way, when people uh, perform a uh, successfully log on to the system, Flash Start will uh, split DNS uh, queries to the correct group. Just, uh, just another staff, uh, let let me come back to the uh okay can, can you hear me david guys yes, yes. okay see it's okay someone can't hear okay Andrea, please uh, please help mr c to to sort out his his issues it's okay and uh, just a recap here it's okay can you see this slide it's uh, quite uh, small but it should be um uh, displayable. This stuff shows uh, how to set up DNS configuration. So we have Windows Active Domain, uh, Windows Active Directory Server, the Windows plugin synchronized to, to the Flash Start Anycast Cloud uh, users and groups uh, tree. Then we have uh, another object, the Flash Start DNS proxy. This is responsible to forward, to uh, send outside the DNS queries. Pay attention. You need to configure the flash start DNS proxy. Uh, in the example is uh, 192.168.0.2 to your uh, internal LAN and uh, guest Wi-Fi network. You can set up DNS manually or uh, it's preferable to uh, deploy through uh, DHCP. But someone would uh, probably complain, tell me, telling, uh, yes, I can, I can uh, configure Flash DNS proxy uh, as uh, the, uh, the unique uh, DNS resolver. But who, uh, who, uh, who will uh, proceed to uh, resolve local active directory zones, the flash start proxy, when receiving queries for the uh, for uh, the uh, the internal the internal uh, active directory uh, LAN, will come back to the Windows domain controller. So if you type uh, Google.com the flash start DNS proxy understands that uh, it's an external query and then forward push out to the cloud. But when flash start DNS proxy uh, get a query, for example, for domain.local or uh, uh, server.domain.local, uh, it immediately understands that it is not an external query, but it's a, a domain a query how does he move he will immediately come back and forward the query to the uh, windows uh, active directory domain both for uh, direct integrated active directory zones and both for uh, reverse uh, zone uh, because uh, you are aware that in a windows environment you have uh, two different kinds of active directory zone okay direct domain dot uh, local domain dot uh, lan and so on and the second type is the uh, reverse active directory uh, zone this is just to um, to to understand uh, the model 
do you have any questions? Is everything clear? It's a, a setup that uh, uh, should be made uh, in about uh, uh, 50 minutes, from 50 minutes to uh, 30 minutes. It's very, very, uh, very simple, I think. Uh, uh, just a second, because I would like to, to okay, to show you, okay, can you still uh, see my screen, guys? Can you see my, my screen, guys? Okay, I just, uh, okay, would like to um, show uh, the guide because we have um, a nice uh, guide about it should be, I don't know if it's online. Andrea, uh, could, could you please uh, link the guide to me, the um, uh, setup uh, guide, because uh, I would like to show the different uh, uh, virtual appliance uh, uh, possibilities. We have created uh, some uh, uh, ready made uh, uh, virtual images uh, for VMware for uh, uh, Hyperview or, or Proxmox. Proxmox or KVM. Uh, they are the same stuff. Uh, the guide is, is uh, coming now uh, in the chat. If Andrea, uh, okay, please link me the guide. I do not have the link right here. Sorry uh, to have forgot. Okay, uh, VM proxy, DNS, ma'am. Uh, yes, it's uh, thank you, Costas, uh, for the questions. Nice stuff. Uh, the basic requirements are uh, uh, displayed uh, into the guide. But for a normal installation, for uh, for example, uh, 1,000 uh, uh, users, uh, two virtual processor processors, and uh, four giga of RAM with uh, 40, 50 uh, giga giga of our drive, uh, uh, it's enough, it's, uh, it's enough. Okay, here is the guide. Okay, it's in English. So CloudBox DNS proxy setup. We have a Hyperview setup guide. It's uh, very, very simple. Okay, you can download the, the virtual machine and then you have a step-by-step -step guide. Secondly, we have VMware setup simply download uh, the uh, virtual appliance and then click uh, to import uh, the VMware OVF template. VM, uh, VMware administrator uh, should be really aware about this. And then Proxmox uh, setup guide, okay? Download the Proxmox uh, virtual machine. It's a uh, .vma.gz file and uh, simply uh, make a restore. The, the requirement are very tiny, okay? Two virtual processor, four giga of RAM, two or four giga of RAM, for example, for a very small network with 20, 50, or even uh, 100 users, two giga of RAM should be enough. No problem because it's a very uh, simple cache, okay? Um, it doesn't have uh, logging facilities, neither, neither, uh, neither, filtering facilities, okay? Uh, it uh, simple push out uh, the uh, configuration and uh, the DNS queries uh, to, the, to the cloud. So it's a bridge, it's a bridge. It's a very, 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 uh, very, very, uh, very easy uh, machine. Then we have the complete uh, Windows connector setup. Uh, everything is here and everything. It's uh, quite clear with the Windows Connect uh, connector uh, download. Well, uh, let me stop sharing uh, my screen and uh, let me come back to your question, okay? Uh, which is uh, the operating system of DNS proxy? It's a customized uh, uh, Linux machine, okay? With uh, 64 bit configuration. It's a very standard, you can simply put uh, generic, generic uh, Linux uh, machine at 64 uh, bits. Uh, what kernel? Kernel is a 4, uh, 4 dot something, 4 dot 14, 4 dot 16, but uh, it's a, a CentOS 7 machine based on uh, Linux CentOS, Linux CentOS, CentOS, okay?
some other questions about the process, about uh, the Windows connector, about uh, the uh, the understanding. How do you feel it? Just to uh, to understand, because uh, uh, we are globally launching uh, uh, the model. It's um, we made a six month is uh, uh, test. Uh, we have already uh, implemented into uh, very big uh, UK schools, but uh, now uh, the uh, trickiest part of our job is uh, uh, making everything simple. So I will be delighted uh, to understand uh, the easiness of the installation. Cost us um, what mean work wrap per machine in a directory environment. So uh, if you have some machine outside of the Windows domain, uh, you can start granular filtering on them. Second, the reporting can be done per IP ID user. No, because it's not GDPR compliant. Just a thought, it's very important to understand that uh, uh, we can't store or uh, uh, display which website uh, uh, some users has access to. So the group is global, okay? Per group or uh, uh, per, uh, per network. Uh, if you need to have the granular uh, DNS request report, uh, you need to take the log back from your local DNS on-premise machine, uh, but uh, you need to, to declare that uh, in your country it's legal. In Europe, in Europe uh, it is not uh, legal. In America, yes, but um, in, uh, uh, in Europe it's not legal. Okay, for the uh, Windows uh, connector, uh, you can start from Windows 2000, from Windows Server 2012 to uh, the latest one. So you can fit, uh, I think, both new and uh, legacy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this machine, this uh, Okay, uh, the machine I showed before the uh, test installation uh, was a Windows 2019 uh, um, uh, operating system. Some other question. I'm very uh, curious to understand if uh, you like it and if it is easy. Uh, just uh, some critics, uh, also some uh, feedback, uh, some point of interest. Please uh, write me anything. Uh, and uh, then uh, I would like David to continue with uh, uh, the slide. Okay, some other questions. Okay, so um, let's continue talking about uh, uh, some experience uh, that uh, are uh, are ongoing right now, David. And then we will uh, come back later to the question. David, can you continue, please? Yeah. Do you, Do you hear me there? Yeah, totally. Thanks, Francesco. So, you know, like, like every new development, um, we go through the development phases, deploying uh, within our labs in alpha, and then we look for trial customers in beta, and um, the, the beta deployment we made um, earlier in the year for this was in Nottingham City Council. Um, we deployed into um, initially a couple of schools there, um, each school being between about 200 and 600 pupils and staff. So, uh, and, and that, that those schools being entirely for pupils and staff having an active directory environment uh, on site. And um, that went extremely well. You can, you can see the comments down there from Adrian Robinson, the CEO of that reseller. I was extremely pleased with the deployment and performance of Flash Start Active Directory. Now, the schools themselves um, had experience of other Active Directory implementations, I think I'm correct in saying, and we're able to make a comparative performance. And we, uh, we got a lot of uh, praise for the simplicity of our deployment relative to uh, uh, you know, what, what had been observed uh, elsewhere in competitive offers. So we're now deploying um, into larger numbers of schools uh, uh, under the under the control of Nottingham City Council. Um, I believe there are 23 schools in that deployment. 
um, you know, e each each of which is the size typically of about two to six hundred pupils. So, so you know, um, that's ramping up, and 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 we we hope we are going to be able to announce some further projects to outside of the education sector working with nottingham city council but i, d I don't want to go you know and over over overstate uh, uh what's going there but all parties are very happy with the progress the deployment um as we've gone out of beta now into full into full ga so um um the solution you know we are uh, taking into now um a deployments across all sectors where you find active directory so so that's um uh, that's the story of our, our rollout there um francesco i'm just advancing the slides yeah. there and seeing we're arriving at the uh the survey um so